Welcome to Vacation Station, hosted by Lisa and Nancy, editors of BigBlendMagazines.com. South of Reno and east of Yosemite National Park, Yarrington is located in western Nevada, and it is just off the Pony Express National Historic Trail, and it is actually on the California National Historic Trail as well. And Nancy and I have been there quite a few times uh, to visit Fort Churchill and Buckland Station, which are both on the trails. And, uh, it, you know, it's such a beautiful area, Nancy. We liked it just also for the nature. Yeah, and it's fun, too. I know. I mean, I, you know, you can go in town have fun, or you can go out in the nature, and I love it. I love all the birds out there. Yeah, the Mason Valley mm -hmm. uh, Wildlife Management Area is beautiful. It's a really good birding destination. Um, and then, um, you know, today we've got Melinda Taylor joining us. She's the owner of Yarrington Inn, where we stay, and Coffee Slingers. And she's joining us here on Big Blend Radio today. She's going to give us some insight of what's going on in Yarrington and what all there is to see and do. And uh, I know by the time our, we're finished talking with her, we're going to just want to pack up the car and go again. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Uh, everybody go to YarringtonInn.com and you can see the hotel there and also they're right in the heart of the downtown district and they're also on Facebook and on Facebook with Coffee Slingers Yarrington, uh, her coffee shop as well. So how are you doing, Melinda? I'm, I'm doing great. Thank you so much for having me, Lisa and Nancy. I really appreciate you taking the time. Oh, we're excited about this. Um, I, I know that the hotel has been busy, 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 and um, yeah. you're right in the heart of the downtown. And, you know, we we always talk about Yarrington. You know, it's a small community, but it is, you're so close to things. Like, Yosemite really yeah. isn't that far, right? Do you get no, a lot of traffic? No, it's literally, yeah. Uh-huh, yes, from there? it's very close, yes. Yeah. Uh, yes, in fact, there's, um, you know, it's literally... Um, an hour and a half to Bishop, um, which, you know, is all the mountains and the trails, et cetera. And um, to, the, to the entrances into the other parks is an hour plus. So it's, it's close to so many different things. Mm. And the one thing, too, Nancy and I've talked about is um, Highway 95, which I know goes from Yuma, Arizona to Banff National Park. <laughs> We're thinking that yes. we should do that as a road yes. trip. I mean, how cool would that be? It, and that's right off. Absolutely of stunning. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. So we can do a lot on that. So I know now Fort Churchill, that's something, you know, a place we've spent yes. quite a number of hours actually exploring those ruins of the fort. I mean, it was built in 1861 as a U.S. Yes. Army fort. And now the ruins uh, those, you know, they are one of the most photographed ruins that we have of old forts in yeah. the country. It's beautiful. That's what I understand. And it's, um, it's accessible and that's, it's interesting because international people come from all over the world to go into, you know, to explore all these ruins. They have a mm -hmm. whole list. Um, we had visitors recently from Germany and that was, they had a whole, you know, trails that they were going through and so it was it was really interesting to see how many international visitors that we have you get a lot of people um internationally i know geocaching it's one of the biggest Huge, yeah. sites in the country literally i mean this is what's so interesting you're at your areas you've got agricultural land and then you know just all this wild areas with walker river and lakes and i mean it's just really beautiful but this is a geocaching hotspot. I think there's like 11,000 geocache yeah. deposits or something. Wow. Yes. And we have one on site, which is, it's kind of interesting because um, our, it's a very difficult one to find. Sometimes they find it to be one of the most challenging <laughs> locations to find on the property. So um, we give them a little, little hints here and there. So, but, <laughs> but literally they come from all over the world. And um, it, it's just been amazing to see, again, how many international people come to the middle of, you know, a very small town in Nevada. Yeah. And, mm. and so Bodhi is near you too, isn't it? Yeah. That's, isn't uh -huh. that like a haunted ghost town? <laughs> <laughs> That's what I understand. I haven't even been there at this point because um, I've taken over the hotel last um, October in the operation. So 
um, I've pretty much been focused on catching up with the bird maintenance and, you know, but again, just, yeah, it's one of another international location that, that people want to come and visit. Um, uh, Wilson Canyon, I don't know if that's on your list, but yeah. there is amazing trails and um, actually the geology around Wilson Canyon is incredible. There's, you know, a lot of natural occurring gems especially in this area. So um, it's, it's really um, a cool place to check out and walk and, and find things. We, we went picnicking out there and uh, Did you? there's some trails out there that are really easy to get to. And uh, we went around there and then we spent a lot of time in Mason Valley, the wildlife management area, yeah. there's a trout hatchery. And, um, but there's the birds. I mean, that's, we were watching pelicans oh, yeah. and herons and cormorants and, Yellow, um, ye yellow winged blackbirds or yellow, there's red winged blackbirds and yellow wings. And yes. yellow, yeah. And yellow wings, yellow yeah. Yeah. All, I mean, yes. Beautiful, beautiful area. So, how are you enjoying running a hotel and, and, and being in a new community? It's been a really interesting process, challenging, but um, yeah. it's a really warm community, um, a lot of historical families. I'm, I think you, you know, you know about the Jeannie Dini Cultural Center and, mm -hmm. you know, the establishment of that family and, and the impact of that family on this community. Mm -hmm. And um, Jay Dini is a great guy. Um, we, you know, I feel like we're, you know, <laughs> partners within the community around, you know, outreach and, and different things. So um, we're sponsoring um, a Hoops for Heroes event. Um, my GM is a Marine and his son passed away in 2010 in mm. um, Afghanistan. So we're working on doing, you know, this community outreach with Hoops for Heroes where we send, our goal is to send um, 10 um, veterans from World War II, Vietnam, ex Korea, et cetera, to Washington, D.C. So. Um, we're really excited about that. And then we're going to do a Fallen Heroes Memorial on the property. Um, that's oh, wow. the project that we're working on. So that Fallen Heroes Memorial will be, um, we used to have a pool here uh, when, when it was Casino West. And um, so we're, we're putting it right where the pool area is. So we're excited about that. Oh, interesting. Yeah, because I know this, the hotel was, the inn was, was connected to the casino. And I know that you know, Dini's Lucky Club is the oldest family-operated yes. casino in the state of Nevada. So this is even, you know, predating Vegas. And yeah, right. if you walk across, I think it's it's a blast because you can walk to, what, three casinos from the inn. That's cool. Right. Yeah, I like, like that. That is that really, is, really cool, yes. Yeah, we, we were laughing that we were just crawling across the street, you know, the pedestrian <laughs> crossing, the dark falling crossing. <laughs> you go have fun and, and then crawl back to your room, you know. <laughs> right. It's, but it, that's yes. so easy because you're in the historic downtown. I think that's so nice to have that history and the um, the cultural center. That's also where the Errington uh, Theater of the Arts is. And, you know, I was looking at some of the shows they brought through and you're getting some quality entertainment that comes Big through. Big time. Yes. Yeah. We have. We've had, you know, four different events where we worked with the event planners and, you know, um, hosted uh, guests from that event. So we've really benefited from the Culture Center as well. And um, it's, there's a really beautiful outdoor and indoor cafe. And they have some, you know, some nice um, options, great salads and sandwiches and everything. So um, that's another amazing place to go and just enjoy, you know, an afternoon. So. <laughs> Nice, and and I know they have like a a taste of the valley or something. Um, I think it's yes. in September. Where yes, a wine tasting event, which is near and dear to my heart because I'm originally from Napa Valley. <laughs> so, um, so yes, so I, that's one of those I have on my calendar for sure. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's, mm. it's it's interesting. Yeah, so now. You've got the nature, you've got the history, and, and the fort and Buckland Station is, you know, the stories that come out of there from the families are incredible. 
But the other part of the history yes. is uh, you have the Lyon County Museum across the street, and that's cool. It's got fossils and trains. Yes. And, uh, yes. Just, that is a treasure trove of a museum. It's really, I am was super impressed. I've been over there, and they have, you know, pictures and displays from the Anaconda Copper Mine uh, that's up at Weed Heights. Did you drive up there when you visited to see the Anaconda Mine? Um, oh, yep. Yeah. You know what? Um, they did take us around there. Yeah, we did oh, go okay. out in the mining areas. Yeah, because of the mining history. We did. Yeah, and there's like a, isn't there an area? It's like a, there's like housing development out there. Yeah. You know, by the mine. And everything yeah, they, like they had to install, you know, all of those houses for workers. And now they're doing a remediation um, because we have a new um, Nevada Copper is now opening and they'll be in production in 2019. They found one of the biggest copper deposits um, almost in the world here. And it's it's east of Yarrington and it's called the Pumpkin Hollow Mine. And they are now you know, in production. So we're getting a lot of um, construction workers. We have geologists coming from literally all over the world. Um, New Zealand, Australia, Switzerland, um, as well as we're hosting some pretty amazing um, investment groups, again, wow. from all over the world. So and a little bit of a culture shock when they land here, but um, they've had some very nice things to say about the hotel. I think they were surprised. And also, um, they've enjoyed going across to, to Dini's and Pioneer. Um, they have, there's a couple of fun little activities um, Pioneer has a historical theater that oh, wow. is absolutely beautiful. Um, and then there's a, a bowling alley as well in between uh, Pioneers and uh, Dini's. So we didn't do that. It's, yeah, it's we, really, it's really cool. We missed something. <laughs> well, yeah, how, we how rude, you know, how rude of us. <laughs> now, so now you, I know when, when we were there, um, we stayed there, yeah, two, three times. And, um, that there was, you know, remodeling going on. Um, are, are, what's happening on that side for the hotel? So give people, let's give people an idea of what it's like to stay there. Yeah. When we were there, it was very clean, comfortable. Absolutely. Um, yeah. So what, when when did you come? Um, was last we, year. Last year, I think, was the last time we were there. Yeah. So 2017. Yeah. What what month? May, I believe. Oh, no, okay. we were in fall. I take that back. It was 2016 in the fall. It was May, May oh, when it was okay. 2015 in the, yeah. I, wow, I okay. Out, Melinda. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> it's been a couple of years, been. right? We, you know, when you travel too much, you just don't know. And then we've been, we yeah. haven't done as much travel this year because of all the production we're doing. We go into spurts of travel, then come back and, you know, yeah. be attached to your computer and go berserk and then get itchy feet and go, we really need to get out of here and go. <laughs> um, but yeah, we actually, when we were on our tour, we were traveling for three years nonstop in, in Yarrington. Oh, wow. um, a friend of ours said, you've got to come up here, you know, and we're like, okay. So we just drove up and it was <laughs> like, wow, you know. Who knew? And um, it's so interesting because that's how we we discovered that literally the California National Historic Trail, which is so fascinating. It's just like yes. it's the Oregon yes. Trail, how everybody migrated, you know, west yes. from Missouri and Oklahoma. And, Isn't it incredible? Um, but it's right yeah. on your doorstep. I mean, that is the yes. trail, the old trail. And you just think about people going by on wagons and horses and like you know, that to me is just so fascinating, but it's right at your doorstep, which is cool. Absolutely. But, um, no, yeah, it's, but the, it's, it, the history the, here is really, is what, um, you know, in fact, Nancy, I told Lisa, my goal is to, I've been connected with some tour groups um, outside of, or in the Bay Area, and I would love to put a historical tour tour together and you know ending up here in Yarrington but there's so many you know Virginia City um yeah. Bodie um they yeah. I don't know if you guys heard of the Berlin Ichthyosaurus State Park no um yeah it's um it's it's literally it's 2 hours northeast of Walker Lake you take US 95 to 361 and it's uh it's saying that it's the North America's most abundant concentration of its 
it's it, it's your it's your sorry i'm stumbling uh fossils um so it's a marine it, reptile that yeah. lived over 90 million years so yeah um, that's, that's, the park is it's in an yeah. old mine mining town of berlin which was established in 1896 so another little um, place to put to explore uh it's just really intriguing to me i'm gonna have to make a map yeah, we're 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 in we're that in the awesome. fan season map mode and doing digital maps and, <laughs> and links and videos. Oh, I and love that. Crazy yeah. Things. I, oh, I want to do this. That. So yeah, cool. the map. Well, that route is so fascinating because when when you look at you got like Genoa or Genoa, um, which is yes. also on the Pony Oh, I love that. Oh my gosh, have you guys gone there? Yeah, the, mm -hmm. years and years ago, um, so we went cute. up to the, we went up to go see wild horses out near stagecoach oh, yeah. and that area yeah. and that's how we went we went to virginia city and mm -hmm. uh, there's a radio museum in virginia city we'd like to run our show from for a day just we really oh, would for that fun. would be awesome I know. Oh, that's Richard, a great idea i know it's so cool but yeah. you have also near fallon um i you know talking about roots I'd like to do a birding route because you have all yes. these birding mm -hmm. areas. And yes. you know, that's the other thing, your area, you have bighorn sheep. When we went, we drove back. From, I didn't realize that. We yeah. did Yarrington to Yuma. That's when we first came up. Yes. And then the second time we did it, we went down 95. And wow. it really changes. You go by the lake and, you know, it's pretty yeah. desolate. And then, you know, some of the little tiny towns. But I really want to cover that too because we saw bighorn sheep yeah. we saw wild horses oh. and burrows and uh you know there's this big nature thing going on and then if you go south you end up towards vegas obviously you've got tule um the tule national monument which is yes. a big fossil yes. you know mammoths and fossils and and all of that good stuff i've been there. there it's amazing yeah and, i've been there it's oh, amazing yeah. oh wow mm -hmm. we haven't been there yet yet we'll yeah. get there but we did find ash meadows Oh, that's Which a beautiful place. Is a is a is a refuge, and it is one of the most biodiverse desert areas in the country. There's these little wow. pools, these little pools, and the water like the springs, and they're like turquoise. The water's wow. turquoise. Wow. And we saw bats wow. hunting. And this is on 95. This is on off of 95, 95, right? Yeah. Yeah. So, when we come back up, which I I knew it, I see we're gonna mm -hmm. we will go pack the car now. <clears throat> when we come back up, I think we need to do like a big road trip route, and I know our listeners listening now are gonna be like, yeah, do the route because there's so <laughs> many little places. Oh, and Rhyolite is near you too. Rhyolite, the ghost town. Um, yeah. Was in Rhyolite was in all these movies, and they have the giant penguin and the giant miner made out of metal, <laughs> and they have the ghost park <laughs> where the artist has done all these statues of ghosts, like. That's a really, wow. really interesting thing. And you've got there. Death Valley. Yeah. So you could do. Oh, there's and Death Valley. Roots. Death Valley. Have you been right to there. Scotty's Castle? Have you been to Scotty's Castle? I've been there yeah, yeah, years ago. Yeah. It's amazing. So yeah. it's amazing. It really yeah. is. Yeah. Wow. I want to go on a road trip now. See, that's that whole <laughs> corridor, you know, 395 and then 95. Where, you know, so you've got, you've got a lot of national parks and forests and state parks and the historic Big ghost time. towns and you know birding places so um it is amazing because you're also at the crossroads really to me because you're so close to reno Big and time. yeah really really in tahoe is not far from you and lake topaz. tahoe is is very very uh lake topaz is probably 30 uh probably 35 to 40 minutes and then mm -hmm. you know tahoe same you can just mm -hmm. literally go up you know by minden gardner minden and go up um, Kingsbury grade and just drop right into South Lake. Wow. Wow. How many rooms do you have now? Well, we got off topic from the hotel. <laughs> we went off roading. <laughs> uh, no, it's we went, all good. Um, yeah. Um, we, how many rooms have, are you at now? We're, we have 79 rooms mm. and um, we're re, right in the middle of a remodel. Um, we have one torn apart that we're putting, trying to quickly put back together for night in the country and then we're, we have um 11 more rooms that we were are upgrading carpet um case right. goods window treatments um yeah. i've i've upgraded all the linens and bedding so that's been quite a process <laughs> yeah no, um, no. so we have some of the best we have a great staff um my gm is fabulous uh, he has a very diverse background, 
and I just was lucky and blessed to um, connect with him. So <laughs> awesome. Awesome. This is exciting. And uh, everyone, if you go to yarringtonin.com, you'll, you'll be able to see the rooms. And uh, she's got so much information on Yarrington. And, and of course, nationalparktraveling.com. You can see what we've covered over the years on Yarrington from there. Um, but also, uh, you open Coffee Slingers. So, so now yeah. this is interesting because it's mobile, right? <laughs> you, you go around to all well, these events. We, yeah. So we have the drive through that's on West um, Bridge Street. It's at 511 West Bridge Street. And then we have uh, Coffee Slingers. It's a trailer that has been converted. And it's just, it's fabulous. And we're, we're doing different events um, throughout the area. And we're, our, our biggie is night in the country. And we're going to be serving, you know, cold drinks. It's going to be pretty warm. And, and food and sandwiches and um, breakfast sandwiches and that type of thing. So we're really excited with the opportunity and we're working with the Boys and Girls Club, which is a fabulous club, by the way. So. Yeah, yeah. So that this is the night in the country. This is this big country music event that happens every yeah. July, right? Every year? Mm-hmm. And then, The last week, weekend in okay. July. And then they also have, um, you have the county fair that happens too? Yes. Yeah, the county fair is um august 16 through 19 and um it's it's a big one there's a lot going on um with with that and just just fun stuff i mean just stuff that you would you know tractor pull um the open rodeo or do they do a demo derby so it's just it's just a fun event um so and of, and course, then, of course you know they have exhibits with yeah. that i'm sorry and then you got the taste of the valley, yeah. Yes. A, yeah. That's it. And and speaking of that, I mean that makes sense. And you just you know whenever I go grocery to the grocery store, I think of Yarrington because <laughs> of the onions. I'm like I know they come. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Just, that's it's, it's big. Yeah. He a, he is um, David Perry is um, mm -hmm. he's one of the biggest onion growers um, in the U.S. and he now has built a kind of a world-class um, cooling, um, huge facility. And he's doing mixed green lettuces and cruciferous vegetables. Um, we, this is a microclimate. So yeah. some, of the, some of the challenges with um, different strains of bugs that, you know, in, in different lower elevation areas that, you know, he would deal with doesn't occur here. Wow. So it's um, it's it's a really awesome growing location. Hmm. Those I and the birds are. I mean, that's. I remember the last time we drove, and it was fall, and we drove from Pinnacles National Park in Central California to Yarrington, and it was it, it's a full day's drive, and it was so beautiful because we went through Tahoe Country, you know, Salt yeah. Lake Forest, and uh, then when we dropped down into Yarrington area. We went past Topaz, but all these, all the yeah. trees were changing into colors. And that's what I want people to know. Fall in Yarrington is absolutely exquisite. That's beautiful. I mean, you'll see all the yeah. changing, the turning of the leaves. And then you, you get into the town and then it's just, you go through all the, um, you know, the fields, all the, the farm fields and the yes. birds are out, yes. the magpies and um, the sunset. Remember that night with the sunset, Nancy, when mm. we drove in and it was just oh. like, the hills were like ruby colored. Like it was like. It was stunning. Oh. I, you know, the sunsets here are just, I mean, I, it's amazing. Seriously. It's, it's an amazing location for sunsets. Mm, beautiful. And, Absolutely. you know, speaking of birds, uh, we watched red tail hawks the other day and um falcons Ooh. so there yeah it's, it's amazing wow good place good place well i'm so glad you came on the show to chat with us and keep us all up to date with what's going on and um you know casino fun mm -hmm. <laughs> events <laughs> history <laughs> history there's so much going on out there and we can't wait to get back up there and start exploring again and I know we want to just make maps. So that's our next thing. We just want to yeah. get in the car and make maps everywhere, road trip maps for people. Yeah. 
it's all prepackaged. Like collecting now, all the places you know where you can go, what you can see, and put them mm -hmm. all on one map yes. so people will see you know just how much there is to do. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's so much, and uh, that would be amazing. I would love yeah. to, yeah, to see that. that. I like making maps. It's yeah, she, 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 <laughs> however, however, she can do the maps all digitally and geekified. However, on the road, <laughs> do not trust her with a map. Do not. Uh, do not. She thinks the, the open the navigation. <laughs> navigation yeah, she thinks the open bridge is. Is the it, you know we're supposed to go over Golden Gate? No, you're going over the Oakland Bay Bridge, which freaks me out every time I do it. <laughs> it's scary. Yes. <laughs> you know about that area, yeah. Oh the yes, bridges. yes, they oh, do. Man. Oh man, the bridges. Oh man. Well, thank you so much, Melinda. Uh, everyone, oh, again. Thank you. you. You can go to YarringtonInn.com. Again, she's got so much information on the region um, that you know what you can see and do. And uh, also go find Yarrington Coffee Slingers on Facebook. And of course, go to nationalparktraveling.com. Just type in Yarrington. And uh, we've got interviews with uh, the park rangers over at Buckland Station and at Fort Churchill. We've got videos up there and articles. So um, a lot of stuff is going on. And when we come back up to Yarrington, we've got to do a new video. It's time. Yeah, it is. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. I would love so, that. Uh, Thank you so much, Lisa and Nancy. Thanks. It was such a privilege to spend time with you. and. I'm super excited to see you um, on your next visit and um, really grateful for your time. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you. And everyone, we're going to play some music. See, if we're going to go on the road trip, we got to go on a Ford F-150. And that's the song right. we're playing. <laughs> we got to drive, yeah. man. Uh, so this is uh, from the album Double Take by Misha Shellhaus. He's an incredible incredible guitarist and um, go to his website MishaMusic.com and see all the amazing people he works with as well and records with um, but again here it is Ford F-150 thank you all for listening here at Big Blend Radio we air Sunday through Friday and our schedule is all up on BigBlendRadio.com thanks so much Melinda you take care thank you so much Lisa and Nancy I appreciate it